Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this uh, react with the Laravel project video tutorial. We will learn that how we can make API for product listing. In last video, uh, we stored some product in our database with the add products API. And in this video, we will access these all products. So first of all, we need to make a function and route for API. Then we will get the data from the database and we need to change some file configuration file system configuration basically and uh, we need to run a command also so that we can access the files from laravel and after that we'll test this our complete api so now let's start with the first thing let's make a function and a route of it so i'm just going to make this function inside a product controller because all apis that are related to the products we will make inside a product controller so let's make a function with the name of list why i am putting a list name of this function why not i am putting a product list and all because this is self understood uh, our, our controller name is product controller and here is we have a function that simply means this list is belong to the product listing and let's return here and uh, just put here our product controller uh, model colon colon all and this command is fair enough to just get the data from database as in listing and just we need to uh, define uh, you can say that uh, route for it and for that let's jump on api.php and for quick time let's uh, just copy and paste of the route and change it to the get method list this is our uh, route name and list this list is basically belongs to our function name right and now this is a uh, fine we can just show a list with that code let me just start putting a url here for uh, list api and let's hit it here you can see that we are getting a list here with the id 5 7 8 and 9 other data is actually deleted at the testing time and the other videos time and here you can see that this listing is existing in a database with the four products only and the same thing we are getting here but there is an issue everything will be work fine but can we access these images actually not let's try it let's define a base url 800 and let me put here products and this file name and now you will find that we are getting 404 why there's a two reason of it first thing uh, laravel don't know that uh, which image we need to show here because uh, we did not just give the link of this folder uh, with this path and second thing is uh, by default storage folder is not public so we need to make it public so let's open a terminal run a command here which is a php artisan storage link but before that as you know we are storing our images in a uh, product folder right so we must have to change the configuration so for that just go to in go inside a config folder file system and let's put here products folder and uh, the public path also let's change with the products now we can run it and here you can see that uh, now we can access this uh, uh, files these files and uh, the link is also created right so now just come back here refresh it and we can access this image so with that way this the image is also accessible and when we will just uh, uh, using them these images with the file tag we can access them if you still have any kind of any question or query you can ask me in a comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video